Let's talk about hot days and wigs. The reality of wigs is you're putting something on your head. And we're always told to wear a hat when it's cold out to help keep the heat in. So wearing a wig is going to do that a little bit or a lot. It really depends on the wig that you're wearing. I always say the shorter the wig, the less permatease and density the wig has, the less it will trap the heat. Open wefted wigs are said to allow a lot more airflow through. I don't know if it's really that big of a difference. I think what makes the most difference is the length and the permatease. Human hair wigs don't have permatease. That's really only a fact, uh, factor of synthetic. This right here is another tip that I have for you. If you like long wigs and you don't wear short wigs or you don't own any short wigs, just pulling it up in a ponytail will make a huge difference. This is Beach Wave Magic by Tressalure in the color 17 slash 23 uh, R8, meaning it has an eight root. This is in their brand new look fabulous realistic fiber and I promised you guys that I would be wearing it as much as I can to test out these fibers. One thing that's very protective of heat friendly fibers or just any synthetic fiber is to keep the friction to a minimum. So on a hot day, put your wig up. It makes a huge, huge difference. Try it. I promise.